and welcome to this tutorial on blacking out the game scene in projects created with 3D and ERP templates in Unity 2020.2.0. Next part is a little bit like a devlog so you can skip to the next timestamp if you like. From time to time I still work on 3D Among Us fix firing task to port it to VR and I need an environment for the VR player. My first thought was modeling storage in SCAD map then I thought why wouldn't the imposter sabotage the lights. I had blacked out the lights in the scene, added a spotlight about the wires and I am very satisfied with the results. From there I wanted to create this tutorial to show the steps so that you can also black out the lights in your scenes if you ever want to. The steps are very similar between the European 3D template. Only one step differs which is about editor UI on inspector tab of the camera. I will point it out when we are there. I will black out the empty scene in URP and tell the steps, except at one point. Flow is the same for both templates and you can even mix the steps, this is a very flexible flow. What we have here? Empty scenes created in both 3D and URP templates. In addition to the defaults, the camera and the directional light, I have added one plane, one cube and a spotlight to the scene so that we can inspect the environment with objects and light sources when it is blacked out. First I have opened three core tabs for this. Inspector view of main camera, locked. Inspector view of directional light, locked. Lastly, the lightning settings of the scene, which you can open it through window, rendering, lightning. When the tab opens, select environment. Now the starting point is ready. I have talked a lot but it really is short to black out the lights in the scene. Here I will start from lightning, move to camera and finish with the default directional light. In lightning we open environment section. Then most quickly you can set the skybox material and sun source to none by clicking the circle in the slot and selecting none. When you set skybox to none you will see the intensity multiplier is gone in environment lightning. And even though we don't see from the editor UI, source falling back to color. Playing with the color here you can choose a tint for the dark places. For pitch black, set it to black. If you don't change the source from skybox, when you add a skybox back to the scene, the environment rendering directly reverts back to skybox. Setting skybox material to none also makes camera's render settings to fall back to solid color. This is the part that differs between the 3D template and URP template. In URP, the skybox is in environment settings of the camera. Camera falls back to background color, but to set the color, we first need to change the camera's background type to solid color. Then we will be able to change it. When we remove skybox in 3D template from lightning settings, camera renders the color in background. We are free to set it as clear flag to solid color or left it at skybox. If we leave it at skybox, when we set the skybox again in the environment settings, we will see the skybox rendered from the camera. This is a very small UI difference between the templates. Then in both templates, we set the background color of the camera to black and here we have it, our blacked out scene. To get rid of the wall lighted up scene, we just delete the directional light and left with the scene with only one spotlight or the lights that we have added. From there on you are free to play around with the effect you are going after. Like if I ever find the time, I really want to try out making it flashlight in VR and this is just one idea, you can go for others. This was it for this video, I hope this will be helpful in your projects and if there was a point not clear please let me know in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more of these, you can give this one a like and subscribe for the future ones. With that I hope to see you in the next explorations and bye bye.